actually there are two different areas of concentration. I don't know which particular one you are looking for, in the sense that if I was to ask myself about my own self, I would say I'm pretty good at staying focused when I've got something to do, in the sense that I've got a task in hand and I will stay true to the task. I won't allow too many things to get me distracted in other areas um, and so I, I I enjoy that. And there's another area of concentration and for me that would be specifically when I'm meditating and I have to tell you after 33 years it is still something that requires a huge amount of um, not concentration, but it still requires a huge amount of uh, perhaps wisdom, perhaps clarity, perhaps patience, perhaps tolerance, where I can sit in meditation for half an hour and allow nothing to take my thoughts away from where I want them to be. And that's a different aspect altogether, I feel. Although I think the principle of being able to concentrate are same for both. It's interesting, I think, to explore what are the things that distract us, first of all. We're distracted very easily by the things that we see. We're distracted very easily by the things that we hear. Whether it's noises or whether it's things that people, we've heard people say that leave some sort of an impact on our minds and on our consciousness. And when they leave an impact, then it's very easy to, to ponder on those things again, knowingly as well as unknowingly. And before you know it, these things kind of come to the forefront of your mind and you're not really thinking about the task at hand but there's something else from somewhere else that filters into your mind and so intrinsically or very basically distractions come through our senses that can include taste that could include touch that could include smell, that could include just a, a, a physical sensation that you might have had from something. If I want to be able to concentrate, I have to engage my whole being. And what I mean by that is that to engage my left brain, in the sense that my, my desire, my, um, the information and the understanding that I have, that concentration will bring me results. That if I do this and I do this and I do this, then this will happen. But equally, to engage my right brain, to engage my heart, and my feelings in what I'm doing. Because, well, as you, you are here on a, in, a, in a spiritual place, so I'm going to come to that whole aspect of a spiritual perspective on concentration. And that being that in that concentration, your whole being, your whole of your spirit and your soul has to be engaged in it. And that spiritual engagement, that holistic engagement means that your mind, your thoughts, your feelings, your desires, every aspect of your being is engaged in that particular action or the task the reason why you experience the beauty of this place, it's not just because of the physical beauty of it. You experience the beauty of it because people have put love into what they're doing. So this is what I was telling you about, traffic control. So we'll just stop for a minute and a half to just be quiet and perhaps reflective. Thank you. 
And of course, a very important aspect of learning to concentrate is moments like this. These moments where you can really just stop. And really it's moments. If I want to learn to concentrate, the other very important aspect of, of an entire way of being is consistency. Can I be consistent with what I'm doing? Consistency is such an important thing. And within that, you could fix a time. You could fix a place. You could fix a location in terms of even within the place, you can create a space which will actually give you permission to separate yourself from everything else and stay in that in that space of stillness and quiet and concentration. Because this practice is very, very important. This practice of separating ourselves from all that distracts us. Of course, we want to be able to concentrate while we're in all of those distracting situations. We will. But we also need to introduce a practice whereby I can say, okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to move away from this that's distracting me and gather my inner strength, my clarity and my focus. And in this space, what I'm creating is creating an inner space of richness. This richness of beauty and truth and patience and quietness that is inside of me. It's inside of every single one of us. And I would not believe for one second if somebody says to me, they don't have it. Because it's not true. It's just that we've forgotten it. It is there inside of us. It is there. It is actually what we are. And so creating those moments whereby we can just forget everything else and come to a clean headspace, a clean space in my mind and in my heart. From that clean space, I can learn the ability to focus. The things that distract us are things of the past, things of other people, things of the future, but actually past is finished. Other people's stories are other people's stories. They are not my stories. And we only allow ourselves, we give ourselves the permission to be distracted. We give ourselves permission to look at other people and talk about other people. We give ourselves permission to think about the past, all the things that went wrong, all the things that everybody else said and did that were hurtful. And in giving ourselves permission, we abdicate responsibility for the present moment. If I want to be able to concentrate, I have to stay in the present and in the moment. This moment is the most important and precious moment. And if I make the best of this moment by fully engaging myself, then I'm going to make this moment stretch into an eternity. In the sense that this moment affects. It allows me to move away from my past. It allows me to influence my future. So this moment is not just a moment, but actually it becomes an eternity that has a full and complete impact on I, the spirit, and on the psyche of who I am. There's paper and pen here, if people want it. I just want us to do a little little exercise in which you can perhaps explore. If you were to be given, if I was to say to you, okay, can you think about a task that you would like to concentrate in? What is it, one thing that you'd like to be able to concentrate in? What would that task be? And then I want you, to, and if you want paper and pen to write it down, 
then actually it's a good practice. It's a good thing to write it down. It kind of focuses you. And then I want you to think about what are the things that stop you from focusing on that? Yeah? Just for a few minutes, just to, so that, you know, you can maybe uh, use some of the things that I've said. <laughs> 